guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading two episodes one and two of Zoku Owari Managatsuri. We're finally here. We're on the last official season of this show. And honestly, it's bittersweet because I'm happy that we're finally here because it took such a long time to get here. Um, I think a span of almost a year, I believe, even with, you know, delaying some shit and ish because of reasons and shit like that but I mean we did it honestly we got through this as faster than I expected us to I thought it was gonna take me at least two years to finish the show but because of the fact is I did it not only by two or three episodes we just got through it so freaking quickly but I mean I'm happy you guys know I enjoyed the hell out of this show I loved it for what it was it cut me on my toes and everything but it is so sad to see it end and I'm wondering how it's gonna end. I don't really want it to end in a cliffhanger sort of way, but I feel like, um, I think, what was it, last Monday before, um, the Princess Connect Redive <laughs> situation came up, uh, I think somebody told me there's still more to this story and it's still a whole bunch of books that I think it's still being written up until today. I'm not 100% sure. Um, that they could animate the rest of the series if they wanted to. I would like to see that, but, like, who knows, really? <laughs> At the end of the day, it's up to them. It's not up to me. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode one. And three, two, one, go. Oh, I forgot to say one more thing. Even though I can't show this, I do have an opening on here. I made sure before we started. Because I downloaded it on Neon. It was the Blueberry version of it. I mean, it would make sense to have every person that we've met from episode one to now to just be in the show one last time. See, I feel like this is going to take place either a couple of days after his graduation. Like, this could be, he's entered, like, an alternate timeline where, you know, he graduated in age, but who knows? Like, everything that he could be looking at is a total lie. I mean, honestly, it, it would be interesting if they did that, like, for a final series of this show where everything isn't what it seems and from the opening it looks like it's gonna do that i'm not 100 sure where hanakawa is not as reliable or something i mean it would be so interesting just to see them as different counterparts and not acting you know like they're supposed to be so who knows i'm really scared but excited at the same time too Of course. Mm. See? That's weird. You get to wake yourself up. Mm -hmm. You graduated. Mm hmm. And Hanagawa is gone.
And of course. Um, you're not supposed to see yourself. Hello? You shouldn't be able to see yourself. Um, this is like that one part in one of the episodes where he <laughs> drowned and then he died and we're like, oh my god. Um, no, because if you were half asleep. <laughs> yeah, but you shouldn't be able to see your reflection. You're a vampire. I mean, half vampire still. If Cotton's like this, I'm scared to see what Sue is like. But I thought you guys already broke it out, though. Yeah, because by the end of the series, like the previous season, you said that they already broke it out. No, because it even shows it in the subtitles. You just look normal. Yeah, nothing looks different about you. Yeah, she just looks the same. And besides, her words aren't flipped either, but Cotton's are.
Best girl, what the? Okay. This is the fucking Twilight Zone. She's not coming out. <laughs> See, now I just feel like he's in an alternative world where he's not a vampire and he's never met Shinobu. But then here's the thing. If he never met Shinobu, Ononoki shouldn't even be here. <laughs> So I think she did just a lot some more. Also, I don't like this music. This music is creepy. Oh, <laughs> um Of course. <laughs> I mean, that's just another clue that something's wrong here. And it's just like... <laughs> Well, hello again, adult. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah, Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Mm hmm. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> mm hmm. And, you know, she's tiny and small and not big and. <laughs> Yep, that one, the older one.
Yeah, but you were 10 and now you're 21. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you've entered in a different time zone. I mean, not even, yeah, mm -hmm. Twilight Zone. Possibly where you're not a vampire anymore. And just. Set a right and left. Mm -hmm. Like a kaleidoscope. Exactly, and you showing up in your mirror. So then all you have to do is just go back. It's just go back to the mirror, right? Everything should be fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what if it's like, you know, I mean, you can come to this place, but you can never return. <laughs> Maybe you should find out when they come. Yeah, I don't think you might be able to sum Exactly. How do you know that vampires don't exist in this world?
you know, because he went from tall to short. You gotta go check it out. That's what we're trying to fix. <laughs> of course, if she's not here, then what the hell is going to be? She has to be on the other side. We're going to fire do with this. Possibly. No, right here. Ow, Cody, that hurts. <laughs> Cody! Freaking drop my phone. Okay, so yeah, this is exactly, this is the Twilight Zone episode, or episodes in a nutshell. I mean, boy, like, I'm scared to see what comedy was like in this, what, uh, Christian Central Hara, Hanakawa, um, anybody else that we've met throughout this show be like in these next five episodes, because as of right now, I ain't got no clue. But, see, <laughs> Seeing adult my way back. I mean, <laughs> like, at first, I, you know, when I looked at freaking Cotton, I'm just like, yeah, I didn't notice the tall that she was short. All I noticed was the words, and I was like, something about this ain't right. Mm -mm. But then Sue, like, she looks fine, and so it's just like, okay, everything's normal, but it's not because Cotton is taller than you. And then it's like this, and then like that. My way is a 10-year-old and not a 21. So, I mean, there's a lot of unanswered questions with this, and this is only episode one. But then how are you going to get Shinobu to get him out of there? That's the biggest thing. I mean, I don't think she, well, no, because Shinobu, she could be walking around right now somewhere. I don't know. She could probably go to, like, freaking Sandra Hada or Hanukkah and be like, hey, um, my master, you know, mysteriously disappeared, went into this mirror. Don't know what happened. I need some help. Or, you know, she could just go to Oshino. Oshino will help. Oshino would have this done in, like, less than four episodes. I'm just saying. But honestly, really, who knows? Because the way this is going, I ain't got no clue. I mean, he's now in a different time, in a time zone of a mirrored world. He has no way of getting back except through the, through the bathhouse. And so I'm hoping, like, he's going to send a message and then Shino finds it with maybe Hanukkah and Zendohara and everybody else. 
and they're like, oh, okay, this is what we got to do. I don't know. I mean, I ain't got, I got no fucking clue. I got nothing, not a freaking thing, but I, you know what, honestly, I ain't going to know until a minute, but go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode two. Alrighty, episode two and three, two, one, go. <laughs> um, this girl still using the fucking monkey ball. I I'm guessing on this side, you know, they never really solved the situation with company. <laughs> Gosh, she just did the Suzaku spin. Oh my God. Shouldn't it be her right hand? Yeah. I'm not the last one. Chinabu? No, honey, holla. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Of course.
So then basically in the mirror world, they're their actual counterparts and not just, you know, going back and forth between the two. Yeah. But nope. There's kitty cat. Well, that's mostly like mo all of my boobs. One is usually bigger than the other. We've all known that. Really? Really? A Resident Evil? <laughs> mm, poor baby, he turned into a zombie because of the T-Virus. Oh. Yeah, because I don't think you want to get killed. Since she was not here to help you, you could possibly get killed this time. Okay, your death wish. No, Cody. No. Come here. Of course. Yeah, because she seems the most normal. I don't know. And someone to me just says that's not right. Of course. So everything is just even more confusing for you. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe you find your girlfriend. Him. Because yeah, that's what's your face. Uh huh. <laughs> So in this world, we're living together. Okay. Uh, I mean, hold on, wait. Is Sanjo Hara okay with this? I mean, okay, you know what? No, because we haven't even seen her yet. What if they're not dating in this? Mm-hmm. No. But there is. I mean, you shouldn't be like this. Because it is. None of this is, you know, I mean, we're in a different world. This should be real. I don't know, because now I'm like somewhat getting butterfly effect feels. Kind of, not really. 
I mean, could this get worse? Could this get better? I don't even know. There's someone behind you. Oh my god, is it? It, it's, <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. So in this world, she takes it and she stays with it. Oh my god. Well, she's more good than evil. She wasn't really maybe that tempted by a snake, but... Seriously? I didn't know that. AKA, I'm gonna keep drinking. <laughs>
Well, of course, because you are shy as heck. Of course. Everything is flipped. So I can do the truth and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Basically, their other personality is like deep, deep, deep. Mm -hmm. She's just the same no matter what. While everyone else is completely different. <laughs> but still, it's interesting. So we've practically not really seen every single girl. We're still missing, you know, Best Girl Sandrana and where the hell she is. She has to be coming. I, I mean, we have four episodes left, and I don't think they would end the series with her not being able to show up. Um, you still have Gaian. If Gaian will show up with Ononoki, maybe, possibly. Um, Oshino. Oh, she knows me, Kaiki, if he wants to make an appearance, because, I mean, this is the last show, and I feel like everybody should be here, but honestly, really, who knows if everyone should like, going to be here, but to see the personalities differ, it's interesting, I'm not mad at it, I, I think it's really cool just to see it like that, but, oh, this boy. Seeing Sengoku <laughs> has this like boost of confidence inside her because like you, you just typically know her as this cute, shy, timid, adorable girl. Even though she doesn't like being called cute and such, but just seeing her like this and she's like up there, she's proud, she knows what the fuck she has to say and how she learns it and says it. You're like, oh, this is like I'm just like, mm. Where am I? Like, mm -mm. it's just still so weird. I mean, out of all the people, he would have, she would have got him. I was, I was like, expecting like Mayuri to get like. I was expecting Senjuhara and not Sengoku. I was like, mm. I feel like Sengoku was possibly going to come between three and four. But to see everybody be different, even though Shinobu is not here because, of, like I said, this world she doesn't really exist. Even though. Mayumi knows about vampires, but the fact is that they don't exist here. It's just like, mm. who else ain't gonna show up? I mean, that's what you're wondering, I mean, throughout these six episodes. Especially, you know, being two episodes in, you're looking around and you're wondering, okay, are you gonna show up? Are you gonna show up? Seeing what's-her-face show up, because I'm like, hold on for a moment. 
And I was about to say cotton, but I was like, no, that's <laughs> that's that one chick who came in, and I was like, wait, wait, why are you here at their house? And they're like, wait, you live in it? <laughs> like, um, something about this ain't right. <laughs> but like, mm. you still left me with a lot more questions rather than the answers. I got some of my answers. Good, thank you for this episode. But still, it leaves you with a lot more questions. And so, with these last two weeks that I have with this show. I just hope that everything is wrapped up nice, neatly. It explains it good because with two weeks left and it's going to go by quickly because possibly either on Friday or Sunday, I'm going to probably be able to record the next two episodes and who knows what in the hell could happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to these episodes one and two of Zoku Owari Managatari. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes three and four. Bye, guys.